735 this morning, the family of a Reigns High School football star shot and killed shortly after he walked across the stage to graduate. Believes a recently announced reward is making an impact. They had hoped that more people would come forward with information now that school is in session. And as News for Dax reporter Aaron Farrar tells us, there are still no arrests in Rashad Fields' murder. The family's attorney, John Phillips, says they have been getting more tips since they announced this $13,000 reward about two weeks ago. Phillips describes this as a marathon, not a sprint. The Fields family is optimistic that police will eventually find the person responsible for murdering Rashad Fields. It's been more than three months since 18-year-old Rashad Fields was gunned down hours after graduating from Reigns High School. Now, with school back in session, and two weeks after announcing a $13,000 reward for information leading to an arrest, family attorney John Phillips says there's been some traction. I haven't had the, the, the killer or the killer's you know, best friend say, hey, I got you here, let's, 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 let's move forward. But Crime Stoppers has gotten reports, JSO has gotten reports, we've gotten reports, uh, justice is coming. These are some of the last pictures Rashad Fields took. It's at his high school graduation, celebrating a milestone in life, only for his promising life to end just a few hours later, leaving Janice and Ronnie Fields with only memories of their son to hold on to. That's my baby. Rashad was a good boy, respectful boy. He loved the children, he loved to play, and loved to joke. Fields was shot and killed at a graduation party in May in the Highlands neighborhood. He just wanted to go dancing, he celebrating, and, you know, he, he wanted happy. to have a good time. He, he did it. He, he went up to the store and showed his graduation, and you know, diploma. His, his diploma, and he was just proud. He knew how hard he worked to make it through, you know. It's hard when you have to go and look in a room and you don't see a body there. You don't see no child laying in the bed. I have sleepless days and sleepless nights. Feels his parents, aunts, uncles, and cousins wearing shirts with his face, bearing a smile they say was infectious. Remembering someone they called a superstar of the family who played football, a star player for Reigns High School, and was set to take his talents to college. He also wrestled and was an active church member. He has touched so many people to be 18 years old. He came from a, a, a good home with good principles, and he was given uh, a good foundation. They gave him the necessary tools that he needed to be able to succeed in life, and unfortunately, somebody took that from him. The family thankful for the community's support and desperate for answers, but remains hopeful. This journey is hard for us, but they've been so supportive, everyone, to the community, the city of Jacksonville. There's going to be justice for Rashad Fields. Oh, yeah. Mark my words. Fields' his family told me Reigns High School is honoring him during every home football game this season by having the number 53 you see on the jersey on the billboard on the field at the school. His parents also say October 1st is going to be an important date for them. That was the day Rashad was expected to play in his first home college football game at Kaiser University. The school is planning to honor him before kickoff before that game.